This is bodybuilding. <laughs> This is a, for a beginner level uh, bodybuilder screaming out lightweight, lightweight, who's uninformed and really needs some more guidance before he gets himself hurt in the gym. Cheers. Uh, I just basically want you guys to start thinking about what you're doing in the gym, not just trying to be the big tough guy going in there and wasting your time. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to develop some concepts of physics and, uh, and, and I want you to take that to the gym and help you to stop wasting time, uh, take one week to backtrack, use these concepts and then you can start pushing forward. So first of all, I want to talk about physics formula. Well, let's have a look here. What do I got here? I got uh, the Bible. Uh, a few calculus, okay, physics, university level physics, here we go, I got it already pointed out, now, you see that right there, here, they have a force going at a certain distance from any node or origin okay now assume that this is a node on your body the magnitude of the moment is a function of how much you push and how far away from the, the origin that you're pushing from okay so the farther you go the more moment you can generate and he's doing flies right he's swinging he's doing flies and, and the weight's going back and forth, right? He's not doing as much work as the same guy whose arms are way out to here. Does that make any sense? I really hope that makes sense. Because this length is longer than this short length. But they're using the same uh, weight. They're doing curls, right? and the guy who is doing a weight has the weight here brings it up about his elbow this is the origin about his elbow okay he brings it up but then he doesn't stop it he keeps it going right he goes back beyond zero without doing any work the weight will naturally go up this high now to get it up this additional uh, length he only has to put in that amount of energy Guys doing the same thing, kidding themselves, thinking they're lifting big, doing big movements. I can do this all day. Okay. Here's 45 pounds, maybe 50 pounds, okay? Look how easy I can do this. Back and forth. This is the correct movement. See how much harder that is? And down. See that? That's one rep. You can use those techniques to help get one or two additional reps after you've done some proper movements but you don't want to use that as the sole uh, means of lifting the weight okay let's give another demonstration work in a tricep this is much too heavy for me to work tricep but look what I can look what I can do I can push it forward and come back forward back right that's terrible okay Actually, I gotta lift this way or it'll fall up. Okay, look, this is the right wheel. <laughs> Need to get some clips on this. Hey, right back here. That's the right way to do it. Controlled upwards, controlled downwards, and that's how you're gonna lift. That's the right way to do it. If you want to cheat all day long, you're only cheating yourself. Once you understand what nodes are involved in the exercise, you can do this by closing your eyes and, and really focusing on what muscle groups are being active in that movement. You can start to, to add weight and, and start lifting in a controlled manner. Okay, 
it's not very often that I incorporate more than one uh, one portion of my body in a lifting movement uh, because I realize the importance of strict form so that's isolating the muscle group by not cheating okay so many times I see guys <clears throat> you know whipping their backs and all that kind of stuff because they don't understand the importance of muscle isolation during that lift so if I can just maybe help and, and, and this is all I really want to get through to you guys is that you need to be strict in your form and then that's the way that you can really compare your growth if you're always cheating and you're always trying to just lift the weight by you know throwing in your back or, or, or using momentum to lift the weight up you can never really gauge how much you're lifting okay you you have to put in the work and understand that the weight is there to resist resist any movements and, and, and it's not about actually getting the movement done so once you understand that you are expected to put the weight up and put it back down I mean that's where you're gonna start really getting productive lifts in alright so I'm not gonna take credit for this idea but that's a quick oats I don't even know what this is, this is just my serving size water chocolate proteins wait so you got about 40 grams of 40 grams of carbs 30 grams of protein mix that up and that's what I've been having for my pre-workout and this tastes pretty good like I, I'm, I'm not sure who I have to thank for this but please leave a comment be like yes I'm the badass that told you about this because it's like a genius moment here have a look at me making this so you just have your one scoop you mix up your your oatmeal first so it's nice then you just mix in your uh, your protein whey I've been doing this for about maybe I don't know two months now and I'm staying lean so I, w I agree with it there you go protein whey and oatmeal pre-workout meal Gonna go work some chest.